The first years that we were there, we really uh, developed a love for the place. Over the years, there were a number of threats, uh, death threats or threats against the church or threats to bomb or things like that. Uh, what I did not expect was that the Turkish government would put me in prison. After they released Noreen, they, they held me. Uh, there's supposed to be freedom of religion there. Uh, but all of the evidence that they gave uh, to accuse me of terrorism or the various crimes was actually my religious activity, my church activity. I was uh, very broken in prison. Uh, and I was in solitary confinement for 50 days uh, in a detention center. That was very difficult. Then when they put me in prison, uh, high security prison, I was uh, in a cell built for eight people, but there were over 20 of us. So it was uh, very intense conditions. I lost 50 pounds in the first few months. I was suicidal at times, and uh, it was very difficult for me. Religious freedom uh, I think in the United States, uh, we take for granted to a large degree because this is what we're used to. Throughout history, it's been very rare to have a genuine religious freedom. And even in the world today, uh, most places don't. And it's very important. Um, and it can be lost very easily because it's a cultural value. And uh, culture is passed down, it's learned, it's not innate. And so if we don't pass those down, if we don't emphasize it, then within a generation you can lose it. If you have religious freedom, many other things, many other freedoms fall into place. It just, it seems like the most basic fundamental thing to be able to uh, to have freedom of thought and, and freedom of belief is so very basic. And where you don't have that, you usually see that the other freedoms are, are also curtailed.